Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Read Out Loud Storytime with Friends. Let's meet our storytime friend. Hi, everyone. My name is Latavia Pineda, and I am so happy to be joining Ready Nation in raising a reader for a special Read Aloud story. Can you talk to us about your job? I am the Southern California Outreach Manager for an organization called Small Business Majority. My job is a lot of fun. I get to talk to a lot of people who own small businesses, who are self-employed, and it really is nice because I get to encounter people who do a lot of different things, who have lots of different fun jobs, lots of stories to tell, and it's my job to talk to them and understand what resources they need, what things they need to learn, what type of assistance they need, and then figure out how I can help them be more successful at their jobs. Why is reading important to you? I have always loved to read for as long as I can remember. It has always been really nice to be able to uh, be creative and uh, use something that someone else has created um, to use my imagination and um, really get to visualize some of the things in the books that I'm reading. What book are you reading today? Today, with the permission from Star Bright Books Incorporated, we will be reading Goodnight Little Sea Otter. This book was written by Janet Halfman with illustrations by Wish Williams. As the setting sun kissed the kelp forest, little sea otter snuggled on mama's chest. Mama fluffed her fur until she looked like a brown powder puff. Then it was bedtime, but little sea otter wasn't ready to sleep. I forgot to say goodnight to the harbor seals, she said. Little sea otter waved her soft, silky paw toward the rocky shore. Good night, harbor seals, she squealed. Good night, little sea otter, they snorted back. Then loud barks bounced across the waves. Oh, I can't forget the sea lions, said little sea otter. Good night, father sea lions. Good night, mother sea lions and baby sea lions. Sleep tight, little sea otter, barked the sea lions. A seagull swooped down to check out the commotion. What's this ruckus about? Squawked the seagull. It's bedtime, Mama said. Good night, seagull, her little pup called. Well then, little sea otter, good night, squawked the seagull, flying off to find a good resting spot. Okay, time to lie down now, said Mama. But before she could say another word, little sea otter dipped her furry face into the chilly water. Good night, orange fish and yellow fish and purple fish, she called. Good night, striped fish and spotted fish. Good night, long fish and short fish. Good night, little sea otter. All the fish bubbled and burbled. Who else is down there, Mama? Little sea otter asked. Mama named creature after creature. Good night, sea urchins and sea stars. Good night, clams and crabs. Good night, snails and sea slugs. Little sea otter called to them all. Good night, little sea otter, the entire ocean sang back to her. Little sea otter waited for the very last good night. Did I miss anyone, Mama? Yes, you did, she said, scooping her up in her paws. You missed me. Oh, good night, Mama, she giggled. With little sea otter tucked on her chest, Mama rolled over and over in the kelp. Soon they were both wrapped in ribbons of seaweed that would keep them from drifting away during the night. Oh, Mama, I forgot to say good night to the moon and the stars, said little sea otter. Good night, moon. Good night, big star and little star. Good night. Little sea otter's eyes slowly closed. Good night, little sea otter, cooed Mama, kissing her furry head. rock a whispered the sea, rock a -bye. And that is the end. What a great book. What stood out for you the most? I would say that two of the main themes that I picked up on uh, in the book were community and communication. 
I think that those are two very, very important things for us all to know and to embrace in our lives. Um, community is important because those are the people who are around us. Those are the people who make our lives special. Um, and communication is important um, because without communication, you're not able to interact with the people around you. You're not able to understand your similarities, your differences, and you're not able to know them as who they are. And that I think is one of the best parts of living in a community and having people around you is getting to know them. And as we saw, little sea otter was ready to uh, talk to everyone to learn the different names of the the different animals to um, be able to describe their their shapes and their colors and all of these things that are so important and all of the features of a, of a great community. How have these things come up in your life? A time when I practiced community and communication was just the other day. I was walking to my car and I noticed that um, there was a tennis ball on the floor. And I know that those tennis balls belong to Wonton, the dog that lives in my building. And so I grabbed the tennis ball and I was able to leave it um, next to Wonton's mom's car with a note letting her know that I found it. Um, I know that the ball means a lot to Wonton. He always has it in his mouth showing it off to everyone. And I didn't want him to lose it. And so I took the steps to communicate with his mom to let him to let her know that I had found wonton's ball um, and then hopefully wonton got to play with it later that same day what final tips do you have for our readers i think the most important thing to remember when you're trying to get really good at reading is to practice um, read whenever you can uh, always have a book with you whether you're going to the beach or you're in the car with your parents uh, if you're on the bus, just open up your book and practice reading, and that's how you get those really strong reading skills developed. What a great story. I had so much fun reading it with you today. Learning has helped me and my loved ones expand our curiosity and imagination, so I encourage you to spend some time picking out a new book with a little learner in your life and grow your love for reading together. Have fun, everyone. <laughs>